Good evening to you. The kids on that bus are expected to be OK, and we're awaiting an update on the status of those two people that were in that SUV. But what we did learn tonight is of a dangerous pattern here. It was a horrific scene, an SUV T-boned by a school bus packed with children. Action News on scene moments after the accident unfolded. On board, more than 30 students and more than half a dozen of them with bloodied lips from impact. One complaining of a head injury. In the SUV, a grandmother and a 14-year-old child both rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. They should treat it as a four-way stop, but they don't. I see accidents here all the time. Residents in this area telling us this intersection has been a problem for some time. Police sources telling us the same thing. So the seven investigators went to work, digging through crash databases within the state highway patrol. What we found was an alarming pattern. In just a year's time, nearly a dozen serious accidents at this intersection alone. In some cases, multiple accidents per month. Disregard for the flashing red lights, stop sign, or just plain confusion led to drivers wrecking. These diagrams in the accident reports show striking similarities to today's accident in which the safety of more than two dozen children were at risk. And by the way, in reviewing those crash records, I identified a whole host of other hot spots in this whole corridor. So there has been a pattern of accidents along this entire corridor here in Roseville that need to be addressed. We're live for you tonight. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Jonathan, thank you. We know